What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a series of first impressions. However, the products that I will be reviewing are not on my face right now. Um, well actually some are, but I'm not gonna tell you which. You guys will know the reason soon enough. Today I actually have four different products that I want to review. I have a foundation or like a CC cream. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. And I also have a mascara, a highlight, and a lipstick. I actually did not plan to film this video, but two weeks or like three weeks ago, not sure. There was a membership sale in Sephora, and me and my mom went and we did some damage. So I figured since I got the products, why not film a video about it? That is what this video is all about. I hope you guys enjoy it. And without further ado, let's get straight to it. I am really excited. I got quite a few things to try out. The first thing is a full coverage cream. I think I'm actually not sure what this is called. It just says the CC Plus, and I got the oil-free matte version. It is supposed to be full coverage, minimize pores and it has SPF 40 with anti-aging and hydrating serum sounds amazing and I have heard quite a lot of great things about this so I'm pretty excited and honestly one of the reasons why I have been putting out this video for two weeks is because I want to wait until my monthly breakout appears because I really want to test out how full coverage this is since this has a pretty thick consistency from what I can tell I'm gonna use a brush oh wow this is a lot more pale than I was expecting but oh well this is actually quite dry This is definitely not my color. We'll make it work. Never what goes in the wheel finder. I look less horrifying in real life though. I mean the complexion that is okay, I'm just gonna blend it. We ignore the horrible color match. It is done. If I'm being honest, color aside, I don't like it. It says it's hydrating, but it really isn't, at least not on my skin. And my skin is a little bit tingly right now. I'm not sure if it's a formula or because my skin at the moment. I'm not sure if I can see actually. Like right here, there are cracks. And here as well. I know that these are some of my acne scars. But since they are not active breakouts, it usually doesn't show cracks. But this foundation kind of makes some up here so it's not great i don't like this okay moving on this, this one is actually not a first impression i've been using this for years just gonna put a little bit all over oh i look so pale Let's try the mascara that I got. I got the Outrageous Oversized Lashes. This is from the Sephora collection. The brush looks pretty aggressive. Again, I've heard some good things. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna curl my lashes real quick. Okay. This is definitely different than I am expecting. Do I have them on Yeah, I do. So I have them on this eye. Not sure how I feel about this. The product is fine, but the brush is so big, it 
makes it really difficult to get into my inner corners like the little lashes right there it's not clumpy though that's what i like i do like the fact that it is so dark and pigmented that it almost looks like i have eyeliner on which i don't and if you see it from the side and you can see that they are really long so i guess that's good oh i forgot to mention i did not forget to put on concealer i actually don't want to put on concealer in order to test out the full coverage foundation because i have tried foundations before where they are so good that i don't need concealer afterwards so yeah that's just what i'm doing but i mean it's completely up to you it's just because i didn't buy any new concealer so i thought i'm just going to leave it i also got the highlight from too faced this is diamond light i have always loved this never tried it though i just thought i loved how it looks i mean how cute is this i know it says diamond light but in my head this has always been like a unicorn highlight type of thing so I'm gonna use a fan brush and give this a shot. Huh. It's actually more subtle than I thought it was gonna be. Which is great because the reason behind me not trying this highlight for so long it's because it looks really aggressive and I don't really like highlights they are really in your face and really like it, it feels like it's on top of your skin I like stuff that feels like it sinks in that it's just like a natural glow but I kind of feel like this is actually alright this is pretty amazing you can't really see it like on my skin oh wow this is beautiful Okay, this is definitely my favorite thing out of all of these things I've just tried, hands down. The last thing that I want to try is a lipstick by Givenchy. Before we do that, I'm gonna put a little bit of lip balm on. Wait, what is this bib dry skin? Oh wait, no, look at the fluff from my brush. Can we please talk about the packaging? This is just, wow. Ooh. Should we try with my hands first because i mean when i apply red lips i usually just oh that is really pigmented holy crap this is amazing this is really unexpected honestly whoa can i just say if this lipstick is so pigmented when i only use my hands if i apply it directly on my lips how is it gonna look? But can I just say this actually feels really nice on my skin Like I know that this is a matte formula This is like a powdery matte according to the packaging But it does not feel dry at all Are we ready? I'm kind of scared actually Oh my god They're not perfect right now but I mean I'm just trying it out So Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. I mean, it feels amazing. And the pigment, I mean, you guys can see it. It's just, oh wow. I really, really like it. This first impression video had a really rocky start with the whole like super pale foundation. I mean, that was my bad. I really have no idea how to choose a foundation shade by myself. But anyway, at a side, I honestly am not impressed with the consistency. It is really thick and it, it feels heavy, you know, because sometimes your foundation, you can see the consistency is really thick and it's very full coverage, but it doesn't feel like it's infiltrating my pores. So I prefer those foundations and not this one. Honestly, I'm not even that impressed with the coverage because I don't know, I know that it's meant to, you know, work with a concealer, but I mean, I'm lazy and even though with these like marks right here, these are just scarring and maybe my expectations are too high, I don't know, but I personally do not like this foundation, I mean, honestly, I'm not even sure if it's called a foundation, it is just, um, what is it? 
I don't know. It's like a CC plus. But yeah, I think that is what it's called. Uh, oh, by the way, I I brought the shade Fair Beige, which of course does not suit me at all. Okay, let me cut in real quick. This is like future Haiti right here. I have just finished filming the impression part of this video. I just washed my face, reapply some makeup because that foundation I feel like is really messing with my skin. I think I am slightly allergic because as you guys can see, let me just zoom you in a little bit. I am not wearing blush and look how red my cheeks are. So I'm pretty sure my skin type does not go well with this foundation. But I do know that it works for a lot of people. So if you guys still want to give it a shot, go ahead. I just personally will not use this again. So yeah, the foundation is definitely a no. But as for the, I mean, the pressed powder is something that I've been using for years. I just picked up a new one because 20% off. <laughs> Yeah, so that really isn't a first impression at all. And then for the mascara, I think it is pretty good. It's not great at holding curls, but I do like the overall effect. So I think that is a yes for me. And lastly, for the highlight and the lipstick, I feel like these two t is a tie as my favorite right now because I mean, Oh, I can't stop looking at the beautiful highlight and the beautiful color on my lips. So yeah, these two are amazing. I would definitely keep using these two products and the mascara as well, even though it's not my favorite, but I still like it. That is my first impression. Okay, so yeah, that's all for this video. If you guys like it, make sure you give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There will be a new video coming every Wednesday and Saturday, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Until next time, God bless you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye!